be not a war crime. That's the findings of a U.S. military investigation after the attack on a Doctors Without Borders hospital in Afghanistan last year. The inquiry punished 16 service members, including a general. The airstrikes in Kunduz killed 42 people. CCTV's Francis Coe reports. The Pentagon report did not exonerate U.S. military personnel for the hospital attack on October 3, 2015. It blamed human error and equipment failure for the hospital strike that killed 42 people. U.S. air crews were supposed to hit a building seized by the Taliban in the northern Afghan city of Kunduz. As these images released by Doctors Without Borders show, the strikes left the hospital in a state of near total destruction. The dead included 24 patients, 14 medical staff, and four caretakers. However, the report released on Friday argues the incident was not a war crime since it was unintentional. Uh, the fact that this was unintentional, uh, an unintentional uh, action, uh, takes it out of the realm of actually being a deliberate war crime against persons or protected locations. And so that is the principal reason why we do not consider this to be a war crime. Doctors Without Borders said it had given the U.S. the exact location of the hospital to keep it safe from friendly fire. The Pentagon admits error and says there was a fatal difference of just 400 meters between the hospital and the alleged enemy target. The investigation concluded that the personnel involved did not know they were striking a medical facility. The intended target was an insurgent-controlled site, which was approximately 400 meters from the Doctors Without Borders trauma center. The Pentagon investigation concluded the gunship attack resulted from a combination of human error, equipment failure and mistakes in processing the order to strike. While Pentagon officials as well as President Barack Obama personally have apologized for the bombing, Kandu's residents still believe that apologies are not enough. This act is not forgivable. Those criminals who have done it, if they are American or from anywhere else who are involved in this issue, must be put on trial in an open trial in Afghanistan, not in America. The Pentagon says the 16 personnel who carried out the gunship attack have been disciplined but will not face criminal charges. Francis Coe, CCTV, Washington.